everybody, it's Miss Isabel, your Elevate Kids intern. Today I'm going to be talking about our true Bible story. We're going to be continuing January's theme of responsibility, which is showing you can be trusted with something that isn't expected of you. We're going to be talking about Paul and what he says in Ephesians 4.29 about using our words wisely. So go ahead and head over and watch our so-and-so show and check out our activity sheets for some fun activities. We'll see you soon. Thank you. You never turn away, you never leave my side And every time I call your name out just to find That you're already right here with me Never been alone I can trust you with my heart Cause this I know You are always faithful You love me from the start No matter what I'm facing I will trust you with my heart Trust you with my heart. There are days when I feel I need a friend, and then I hear your voice reminding me again that you're already right here with me, never been alone. I can trust you with my heart, cause this I know you are always faithful, you love me from the start. Trust you with my heart You are more than able To lead me through the dark Your love is never failing I will trust you with my heart Oh, I will trust you with my heart No matter what may come No matter what I go through God, you are Never gonna fail me I will trust you with my heart no matter what may come, no matter what I go through, God, you are Never gonna fail me, I will trust you with my heart You are always faithful, you love me from the start No matter what I'm facing, I will trust you with my heart You are more than able to lead me through the dark Your love is never failing, I will trust you with my heart you with my heart. Hello, I like to call hack me on the learning degrees. No, no, no. I call hack me on the learning aid. No, 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 no. Uh, he wants a tall hack with a lemonade, and I would like a South Coast salad with a grilled chicken and a lot of water noise. A lot of water. Yeah. <laughs> I can never understand what they're saying. Me neither. I don't get it. Hello. How's it going? Ciao. Konnichiwa. Welcome to a brand new so-and-so show. I'm Steven. And I'm Lawson. And we are talking about one of the most powerful things in the world today. Ooh, Niagara Falls. No. Your Aunt Margaret's perfume? Also no. My bicep? Definitely no. Come on. I'm talking about our words. Ah, yes, our words. They are powerful things that we have to control at all times. Correct, my friend. So I thought maybe we should play a game. A game of words that's been played on this show before. You don't mean. <gasps> the secret word. The game when you say the secret word, you get body slammed by a wrestler. <laughs> power, 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 power. Or you get baked beans poured on your head. 
or slime? Lots of slime. Oh, ah, ah. Why would we play that game? I've been assured that nothing will be dumped on our heads and no one will body slam us. Yeah, that's what they want you to think. But just in case, it's probably best if we don't say the secret word. Inside this sealed envelope is the secret word. Is that gonna happen every time? Maybe. Oh. So, neither one of us knows what the word is, but it's an ordinary word that we use every day. And when we say the word, we get the consequences. Hey, that's my sound effect. We can share. Fine. Now, it's time to show the world what the word is. You will know the word, and we will not. Everyone got it? Perfect. We'll just continue on with the rest of the show. And if we say the secret word, we get the consequences. Let's do this, Steven. Did you know that according to the internet, there are currently 171,476 English words in use? Really? No, I did not. And did you also know that there's over 260,000 Italian words? Mamma mia! Did you also know that there are over 1,100,376 Korean words. Wow, that is crazy. And to me, you know what's even crazier? There's only 93,000 Spanish words. I knew I should have taken Spanish in high school. What'd you take? French. Ooh, 130,000. Wow. What'd you take? A Swedish. 600,000. Swedish? Yeah, I wanted to know what the chef from the Muppets was saying. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Ha. Ah. 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 Oh, it smells so bad! Oh, like rotting fish and moldy tangerines, but with a hint of rose sprinkled in. Yeah, I'll take ah. your I'll take your word for it. Um I guess, I guess we know what the secret word is. Oh, huh? really? We do? What is it? It's, oh, no, 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 no. You're not gonna get me like that. Right, I know. You're too smart for something that simple. That's very true. By the way, do you, do you want a Twizzler? Okay. <laughs> nice try. Yes, I do. That was a close one. Almost got brought down by Twizzler. I'll get you before the show's over. <laughs> not likely. I am in complete control of my word words. Words. Uh-huh. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, you know, just getting shot in the face with stink spray by an enormous skunk. That sounds nice. We were playing the secret word. Game. Oh, gotcha. What's the word? Okay. Oh, man. No, 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 oh, no, yeah, sorry. <sighs> sorry. Well, what are we talking about today, Kellen? Choosing your words carefully. Great. Take it away. So today's Bible story is actually a verse that was written in the letter by Paul to the Jesus followers in the city of Ephesus. You can read the letter yourself in a book called Ephesians. And like I said, this verse is all about words. Paul wrote, don't let any evil talk come out of your mouth. Say only what will help to build others up and meet their needs. Then what you say will help those who listen. It's really crazy to think about that being written 2,000 years ago, and it's still something we need to hear today. Sometimes we use words that are hurtful, and we lash out in anger and hurt people's feelings. But Paul wrote that we should use words that build others up and meet their needs, words that are helpful. We all have the same words to choose from. It's up to us to decide which ones we're gonna use. We can decide if we're going to tease or to praise someone. Do your words harm 
or do they calm in a situation? Is what you're saying rude, or are you trying to be courteous? Are your words out for revenge, or are they offering forgiveness? It's really your choice. You can allow your words to get out of control and be hurtful, or you can use your words wisely and be helpful. Is it always going to be easy? No way. But can we do it with God's help? No doubt. That is great, Kellen. Thank you for using your words to teach us that lesson. Yeah, Kellen, you're the best. Thanks. And you guys are A-O-J. Uh, I think you mean A-O-K, Kellen. Oh, no! <gasps> no, 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 no! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Oh, oh, it smells so bad! Oh, no, it's wet, too! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh! Thanks, Kellen. No problem. I'll see you next time. I wouldn't miss it. Bye. Uh, what are you doing? Trying to think of what words to say next. Here, I'll help you. Reveal the question! Why do your words matter? Well, as someone who has to constantly monitor what comes out of his mouth, I can tell you that when you don't control your words, people get angry, feelings get hurt, and you're never allowed to go to that Applebee's ever again! And on the flip side, words can encourage people and make them feel better. To paraphrase Spider-Man's uncle, words are powerful, and with that power, comes great responsibility. Wow, that's really good, Lawson. Mm -hmm. That's like a rule for life. Ooh. Use your words wisely. And whatever you do, don't say the secret word. Because it really stings. You really stink. Hey, your words hurt me. Sorry, man. We both stink. Thank you. No problem. Thanks for watching, everybody. That was The So-and-So Show! Bye, everybody! We'll Woo see you next time. It really smells bad. The I know. smell lingers. Most people poop their pants. Most people poop their pants. <laughs> Real men from higher heights. Real men what? Real men from higher heights. <laughs> Never mess with minty mouthwash. Bless you. <laughs> the moon. The moon creaks in your window. The moon creaks in your window? Yes! <laughs> Paddle, possums, paddle. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. That's it! How'd you get that?